So I often get a lot of people saying, oh, you can't do these fade jumps on console. You can't jump like you do on console. And I can't answer them because I don't own a console. But I did find out that I've got an old game pad. It is not good quality. I think this was bought for like five pounds off of Amazon or something. Uh, but it does accept X input and it looks like a PlayStation controller and the sticks are awful with it. And I thought, well, why don't we try doing some fade jumps? So disclaimer, I cannot use a controller for any, any FPS games at all. So it's just, I will barely be able to move, like just regular walking. I, have, I don't play on any games consoles. I've got no experience at all. And we're gonna try fade jumping. I, I did do a bit of research beforehand. My understanding is that I need to change hero specific controls. So there we go, that's the game controller. God, it's it's not good. I'm gonna change this to be the top right shoulder button. So fade top left, jump top right, hopefully. I don't need any other abilities. I just need to be able to walk. So I'm going to create a custom game. Settings, I'll do it manually. Heroes, Moira, fade cooldown zero. I see anyone will change. Maps, none. Let's go on a map with a lot of fade jumps. Icon world. To okay, right. So from from here on out, let's only use the controller. Let me check. Okay, that is jump, and that is fade. Oh, it rumbles. It's got a rumble. Oh, it's got a rumble pack in it. Yeah. Okay. So I I can't really walk, but oh, okay. So turning's a problem, but actually we don't. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, yeah, other than the fact that if I don't move the stick much at all, nothing happens. And then as soon as I move it, it just spins. Well, we'll see what we can do. I mean, half of the jumps you don't need to even turn for, right? Oh, that was mistimed. It's weird having to do it with, like, two hands. Okay. So, okay, that's how you... It's just so awkward. I'm just trying to strafe a little bit. I do have a lot of respect for people who use a controller. See, I... I'm sure you will use a higher quality one than I do, though. This is about as budget as you can get. So the actual fade jump hasn't changed um i've got to get used to pressing these buttons but i mean i'm i'm just not turning into the jumps because i can't handle this like turning and i have no idea how to like properly strafe okay so we can still Oi, we made it. <laughs> I just can't turn. Like, the actual jumps are identical, but I just cannot manage this turning, like, even looking around. So this would be exactly what it's like playing on console. See, we can do them, like, most of them with just by, uh... Using strafe. Oh. Was not lined up correctly. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Yeah, I am without a doubt the worst person you'll ever see on a game controller. Oh. 
But in terms of the jumps, I mean, we can get all the same height and everything. We just need to know where to hit it. It's a lot harder for me to turn mid-jump. But we can still do some. Oh, no. <laughs> I got the keys, the buttons mixed up. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm just going left and right too much. I think... I think I found this controller in like a drawer somewhere and it's probably all like, I don't know, it might sound weird, but sticky. Like the the left one seems good, but the right one is awful. Oh, why did, I didn't attack anything. I don't even know what the attack button is. But yeah, we can, we can certainly still fade jump. It's just a case of lining up. Oh. God, my hands are aching. Like the level of concentration needed just to do jumps. If I just completely ignore turning, like I can fade jump pretty well. Like everything seems to, I mean, it, it, it's just identical. So yeah, I, I feel like if you can control your character with basic turns, then you can, there's no real reason not to fade jump. I think one thing that is key though, is you're going to need to have your jump button on one of your shoulder buttons. I'm assuming that's what they're called, right? And your fade on another one. Because you're going to still need to be able to have both of your movement sticks available to you. Let's try a different map out of curiosity. I'm going to use the mouse to select that. Because I, I have no idea how to go through the menus. I've been doing quite a lot of jumps on Dorado, so let's give this a go. Okay, again, mouse. Right, back to controller. Moira. Humanity is shackled. I Who knows, maybe I'll get better with this. Uh... <laughs> I, I think the controller is actually, like, broken. Well, this will... I would say this would be hard. It'd be hard to go from this angle for me because I can't turn. But yeah, the jump would be exactly the same. Oh, we've got to press the jump key. I, I pressed down. Oh, that attacks. I can press down on the analog sticks. Wait. <laughs> there we go. See, we can still do them. I might add, this is literally my first time with a controller in Overwatch. And the first time I've used a controller in... at all, for any reason, in years, apart from playing... Um, a Nintendo 64 emulator to play some Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yeah, it's literally just the turning that I have a problem with. I just let's just like try and oh no 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 okay oh wrong button again I pressed down on the stick there's no way I'm, I can even walk to the edge of this back up turn slowly where am I here. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're on this bit. No, no. Oh, I wish I could just control my character. So I think you're definitely limited somewhat. Um with your fade jumps. 
just because it is quite hard to turn, but there's so many fade jumps that you can do without even turning. Oh, that's just me not lining up properly. Ugh, come on, move. Move, your stupid stick. It's like the precision walk-ups are a problem for me when I can't even, like... If it was just, oh, run around without hitting a wall challenge, it's basically impossible for me. So if you can move your character better than I can move this character, then you haven't got that much of an excuse for not fade jumping. Yeah, I think the stick is broken. Also, my hands are aching because of how like tightly I'm gripping the controller. Yeah, we we did a turning jump, sort of. Oh, oh. Wonder if I could even do like a one eighty. Keep looking down when I go for a big spin. Ah, but yeah, it's still all just about the timing of the fade and the jump. As in, I could have just demonstrated this by not using the mouse. Because obviously everything else is the same. I'm just using two different buttons. It's no longer shift and space. It's L1 and R1. So yeah, guys, I hope this um, helps some of you out that you're not hugely limited with fade jumps. It's not like, oh, PC get this super system where their, their characters just jump higher than us. They don't. It's um, The fade and jump mechanics are still identical. It is just harder to move in position. There's, there are a bunch of fade jumps like, again, if you can control your character then yeah you would be able to do all of them it's just about how quickly you can turn around corners and things and obviously if you're doing it in combat and you're trying to attack people i can see how it would be difficult but yeah for someone who can actually control their character better than me i think you guys can manage it Right, anyway, that's all I wanted to show. Like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.